please have the children come forward and join me. Children of all ages, whoever wants to come forward. Everybody come on in. Come on in here. We're making it picturesque. Good morning, everyone. So today's a little different, isn't it? We started off in the parish hall. That's different. The choir sang a great song for us as we kind of walked into the church. That was different. We've gone from wearing purple to red. That's different, right? I want to tell you a story about why it's different. See, Jesus was all about helping people. He'd been working with people for about three years. He'd done some great stuff, and he had changed lives. He had healed people. Some people who were sick made them feel better. But there were some people who were getting upset because they thought, well, why is he getting all the attention? Why does he need all the attention? We need to be careful of, of Jesus. Why is he doing this? And they were even afraid that here comes Jesus into Jerusalem, into town where we are, and why are people coming to visit him too? And so there were people who were thinking to themselves, if they start paying more attention to Jesus than they do to us, then our power is going to be gone. Okay? And so they were watching. And they had people watching for them. And then the story spread about what had happened, that Jesus had come into town, and then people stood by the roadside, waving their palms and singing Hosanna, and they were celebrating this person, Jesus. And there were some people who did not like that. Because they thought, well, the story that he's teaching, that's not the way that we want the story to be taught. So we're going to do it a little bit different. Why is he the one that's teaching the story the way he is, which is a little diff different? What makes him so special? Yes, William. What? You know? That's right, they did, very good, thank you. You helped my story along. Because what happened is that when they found that Jesus was in town, they heard that he was having dinner with his friends, they figured out a way to arrest him. Well, they, we did try to fix that. And what Jesus did is he told his friends, he said, be careful. Because there are people who are, who are not very friendly to me right now. And I'll need you to be my supporters. I need you to hang out with me. Let's go to dinner. And then afterwards, we're going to go in the garden. And we're just going to sit for a while. And we're going to be there. And I'm going to do some praying. And I need you to stay awake and make sure that nobody comes to bother me. That's who he was talking to. He was talking to God. And he was saying, help me. Stay awake with me. Stay a part of what I'm trying to do. Be with me. Do 
No, it wasn't the policeman, but it kind of was. It was the soldiers. The soldiers came. You can come up here and help me because you're doing a great job. Lady. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. You're doing a great job. So it was the soldiers who came up, right? So the soldiers came, and then that part of the discussion between the soldiers and his friends didn't go so well. And in the end of the day, the soldiers took Jesus. And his friends, they were scared. And so they all ran away. All but Peter. Now Peter held back and kind of came in and followed Jesus, but at a safe distance because he didn't want to get arrested. He didn't want the soldiers to grab him either, did he? Correct. Exactly. He didn't want to go through the same things that he was seeing was happening to Jesus. And so, even... A rainbow monster came? No, I don't think a rainbow monster came. (laughs) But there were people who asked Jesus questions. Are you the king? And he said, I'm not the type of king that you think I am. But I am a king. I am bigger than anything that you can even imagine. And the people wondered about that. And they were confused about that. So while they're asking Jesus questions, there are people in the garden who are now asking Peter questions. Well, they did end up taking and tearing his robe apart. You were right on this story. I'm very impressed. So the story, so they ended up once, once Jesus was arrested, and then they said, no, this is the, we cannot have this happen anymore. We've asked you and asked you and asked you not to do this, and yet you do it anyway. The worst possible thing happened. He was put to death. But that's not the end of the story, is it? No. He came back alive. When did that happen? How long did it take? Three days. Three days. That's amazing. Three days, and Jesus is back alive again. But there's so many things that happen in this story that we can't even begin to talk about today. That's why all week long, we're going to be having services to tell this story. There is a person who actually gives his house over to Jesus. And his name is Joseph of Arimathea. Joseph had a, a stone house that had been set aside just for him. And nobody had ever used it. But when Jesus died, because he respected Jesus so much, he said, you know what? I'm going to give Jesus my house. And they did that. He went up to those people and he said, can I have Jesus' body? Because I want to protect him. I want to honor him. And so I'm going to put him in this, in this house. And then they rolled the stone to protect him. Joseph of Arimathea did that for him. <clears throat> What's going to happen? That's going to happen on Easter Day. You've got Mary Magdalene and Mary and Peter and John. They all go to this house of Joseph to try and see what's going on. I know it's a tough thing. But what happens is when they see that sto- when they see the stone rolled away. I know. That's why we got to go all week to church because we can't do it all right now. You do, well, I'm glad you do. So the one, as we keep working towards an understanding, you know, I've been teaching this story, telling the story for a long time, and every time I read about it, every time I do it, I learn something new too. Okay, that's why we come back to church. That's why we gather together. I will absolutely see you. Will you see me? Yes. Yes. Very good. (laughs) I think she probably.
probably will too, yes. Are there any other questions or any other things that, that you're confused about in this story? Because this is a difficult story. Are, is there any questions? Yes. I'll come back. Yes. He is helping us. By the fact that Jesus was able to go through all of this pain, it helps us to know that when we have pain, we've got somebody who understands us. Yes. How did he come back to life? God made a miracle. God made a miracle. God changed the way that we understand the world through that act. It, okay. Very good. Yes. There were people, that, his disciples did not want him to die, but they were afraid because they were afraid that the same thing would happen to them. So they had to stay back. The people who were at the bottom of the cross, Mary and another Mary, Mary Magdalene and John were there. He comes back. He will come back. Yes. Yes, sir. After that, Peter did govern the church, but that's, that comes later. That's the whole of the Easter story. So we will have, once we have Easter Day, then we have time where Jesus is talking to his friends and telling them how the church should run over the years to come. So you're right on. But let's wait for that part of the story, because right now we have to kind of work through Holy Week. Yes, ma'am. Any other questions? You have one, yes. Yes. Because there were two different groups. There were people who liked him, and there were people who didn't like him. And it was the small group of leaders who didn't like him that were in the government. They were able to say, we need to have this change, because he was challenging the government, not challenging the people. Yes, ma'am. Today or then? Then, but because there were some people who were kind of still not sure about Jesus. They'd heard a story about him, but they didn't quite know who he was. And that even happens today. There are some people who know about Jesus, but they don't understand him. And so they're a little confused about him. And so they may not necessarily want to worship him. And the idea is that the story needs to be told. So that people who are confused about him will learn about him and that life will be better. Any other questions? Any questions from the younger crowd out here? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'd say that one more time. Does Jesus do anything when he's resurrected? Jesus actually comes and appears to his disciples the very morning of Sunday. He talks to them, and there's three different accounts, three different times that it happens. And part of what happens at that moment is the people who were once scared were no longer scared anymore. The fact that Jesus appeared to them, they no longer were afraid, and they went out into the world spreading the gospel, spreading the story. And that's what we're all called to do, right? I hope that I've been able to help you understand this story a little bit. And I hope that I will see you throughout the week because there is much, much more to the story. So I look forward to seeing you every Sunday. But, even, but this is a special week. We have services every single day. And every single day we learn just a little bit more of the story. It's like, you know, when you read a book, if you just read the first chapter and the last chapter, you miss all the good stuff. Well, if you only come... On Palm Sunday and Easter, you miss all the good stuff. So you got to come back and you got to read the other chapters this week. Okay? Good. Let's go back to our parents. Thank you. Thank you, William, for your help.